Now what we're going to do is switch gears a little bit and talk about uh, what we talked about a little bit in the beginning. Terms, coefficients, uh, and expressions. A lot of these terms, you know, these, these definitions confuse people, but there's really no reason to, conf to be confused by this at all. Here we have, you know, an expression. This expression has only one term because there's only one sort of little unit uh, together, 6 times d. And as a definition, you need to know that when someone talks about the coefficient, then what they're talking about is the number that sits in front of the variable. So this is the coefficient. So anytime you have a number sitting out in front of letters, which you're going to see a lot in algebra, the number is called the coefficient, right? And, and so on. So let's, this is very simple because there's only one thing here, but let me go ahead and write a little bit more complicated one down and you'll see how to deal with it. What if you had the expression negative x times y minus 4 times t plus 35. This whole thing is called an expression. The whole thing is called an expression, right? So let me write that down just to kind of show you. It's an algebraic expression. So here we go. This is an expression. In other words, an expression is like the whole enchilada, all right? Now, how many terms do you think are contained in this expression? A term is like a little nugget of goodness. Uh, they're all, you know, either added or subtracted. This is a term, this is a term, this is a term of the expression. So how many terms do we have? We actually have three terms. So here we have one there, one there, and one there. So we draw a little nice little big fat arrow or something like this. We have three terms inside of this algebraic expression. So if on a test, I say, how many terms do you have? Well, there you go. You have things added together. There are three of them. So that's called uh, the terms, three terms. So what is the coefficient of the first term of this expression? Well, this is the first term. The coefficient is the number in front. So here, the coefficient is equal to, what do you think, negative 1. That's the number that's sitting out in front. I know there's no 1 there, but because there's always a 1 implied there, and there's a negative there, it, the coefficient's negative 1. What is the coefficient of the middle term? Right? Well, if you look at this, this is the middle term. The coefficient there is negative 4. Because that's the number sitting out in front. And then for this last guy, the co there's no variable here, so you could kind of say the coefficient's 35. But, you know, since there's really no other letters there, you probably wouldn't be asked that. But if you just see a number, you could say the coefficient is 35. It's not as meaningful, though. Typically, coefficients are when you look at numbers that are sitting in front of letters. So let's give you another little example here, kind of drill this in a little bit more. Let's say you have something like negative 4 times x times y times z plus 7 times x 